The artist pathway does begin here in radiology because the patients are typically folks who show up and they have an abnormal x-ray, nobody really knows what it is, and the CAT scan is really the next step in the treatment algorithm. Uh, and from those CAT scans, there are a clear subset of patients that need more imaging, PET scanning, or need a biopsy of the lung or some other um, uh, part of the body. And in the past, what we had found is that the time from that first imaging to a patient's first treatment, if indeed they turned out to have cancer, was longer than we would have liked. So um, we found a way through the artist program to basically use the radiologist as the front line of um, uh, moving the patient through the system quicker than we otherwise might. And we do that simply via software where uh, the radiologist can activate the artist program, which puts that patient into the hands of a navigator who can then take control of that patient and move them through the system to the next set of imaging, the next set of procedures, seeing the subspecialist that they need to go see, uh, and really kind of helping to direct the patient because it's a, it can be a pretty complicated process. My role as a pulmonary physician is to um, speak with the radiologist uh, once they identify an abnormal CAT scan. And from that point, I then uh, work up the patient and determine what the best way is to biopsy them and to di diagnose them with lung cancer. What we noticed several years ago was that we had enough tissue to make the initial diagnosis, but we oftentimes did not have adequate residual to then send off for the other molecular studies that in today's era is standard of care. And so you're sitting at home knowing you have cancer, waiting to just get treated and waiting to see your oncologist. and. Now, not only do you have to wait longer, now you have to come in for another procedure to be able to fully evaluate your tumor and then develop an implementation plan. So now we've sort of collapsed that, and so the wait is less. There oftentimes is no second procedure needed, so they don't have to come back into the hospital. They don't have to be readmitted. They don't have to undergo the potential side effects of another invasive procedure. Um, they get most of that in one, one visit, and then, instead of coming back in for another procedure in two weeks, they're coming back in to see their oncologist. The oncologist has all the information he or she needs to develop a plan, and now they're seeing the patient not just with, here's your diagnosis, but we need more. Here's your diagnosis, here's what we're gonna do about it. They don't always need to go from A to B to C to D. Sometimes they go from A right straight to D. We tried to achieve with the artist program was to understand which patient does you know, require what kind of care at, at any particular point in time. Once that pathway is initiated, certain sort of like bells go off in certain departments that say, hey, we have somebody here. When we first sat down um, to go over this, it was a subset of the Thoracic Oncology Conference at the time that decided to look at this, and it was uh, uh, Rob Christman from uh, Pathology and Christian Thomas from the New England Cancer Specialists, uh, as well as uh, Jason Yawak from uh, pulmonary medicine, but we've uh, added to the, that team the thoracic surgeons here from uh, Maine Health, uh, and that group of people ultimately were the ones that started to create the concept, and I give a lot of credit to the folks at Spectrum, our IT team and our radiology support folks who really helped to create the software to uh, allow us to basically launch the pathway directly from our PACs, our reading stations, um, to basically uh, result in an efficient process for the radiologist but still a, a timely and successful product. And we actually looked at the before the change and the after change data, and we saw a dramatic increase in the number of successful samples that had enough tissue to in order us, enable us to make the complete diagnosis and management plan. Um, so the before and after was dramatic, and I think that that pathway has been sort of well accepted by all the clinicians, uh, including radiology, surgeons, pulmonologists, and pathologists, and we're able to now provide better patient care quicker, faster, and cheaper, which I think is the ultimate goal these days with, with medicine. We're not totally done designing and redesigning how we deliver care, but we've made a step in the right direction with the artist. You know, the biggest thing patients would tell me when I saw them in the office was that they've been waiting a long time to get some answers uh, regarding their abnormal CAT scan, and this program has allowed us to provide patients with answers very quickly and to get them on the road to the proper treatment. It's very satisfying um, as a radiologist not always seeing that direct impact on patient care. Um, but you know this is this is about not only moving the patients quicker through the program to help uh, affect the best care, 
but this is a difficult time in, in a patient's life is there's a lot of uncertainty and they don't know actually what's going on with them and what their ultimate care plan is and uh, we're trying to, to mitigate the amount of time patients have to live with that uncertainty and have uh, them realize that they're not alone in this, that we've got a whole care, uh, care team that's uh, helping them move, move them through it.